We're Maria Jose and Chase. We build adventure rigs on this channel and document the entire process and the tech that goes into each step of the build to help you. We've been living nomadically since 2018, and in that time, we've paid for less than 10 places to stay. We're making this multi-part series of videos to show you the ways we find free campsites, and then we're taking you along with us to a spot we find through each app. We invite you to subscribe and stick around because we have new content each week. It's hot today. Yeah, it is. So, after Marose's successful campsite find last week, now it's my turn. Chase, where are you taking us today? Looks like I'm not taking us anywhere. Jake's gonna be driving us to a spot that we found on Harvest Hosts today. So, I'll show you how we found it in just a second, but I think we need to get on the road. Let's go. After about an hour of drive, yeah. we are at our first spot ever with... In, th in three years with Harvest House. Yes, but before we tell you all about this spot, we have to take the dogs for a little walk. We've tried to use Harvest House for the last three years, and every time that we tried to find a spot, we weren't able to secure a spot. Since all of that, we decided we were just gonna stop using the app altogether. Recently, we noticed that there were a lot of updates that had taken place. And now the biggest pain point of the application seems to have been totally eliminated. And that the company, as well as all of the hosts, are all now on the same page and it's so much easier and more streamlined to secure a spot. So I'll show you how I found this one. So we looked for places kind of close to us in Nashville and you can see distinction of all different types of places. So you have wineries, farms, breweries, you have museums or other local attractions. And when we zoom in on Franklin, we found South 40 Farm. Now you can see down at the very bottom which dates are available which is a really nice feature that was never in the application to begin with. So then once you select the location, you can scroll through the pictures. You can see how many spaces they offer, what size rigs, if you can have pets or same day requests, which we really like this same day request function because that's what we use most frequently when we're traveling full time. We never have a true idea of where we're gonna be and then you can request your stay directly in app, which is super awesome. They've got a website, all sorts of fun stuff, and then reviews. Right now at this property, it's a farm. It's 40 acres of land, which is incredible to have so, so close to Nashville. They only allow two rigs at the time. So pretty much you feel like you're by yourself the whole time because you can like park as far as from each other as you want. With Harvest Host, I don't know if you saw our other video where we explain every app, but if you didn't, it will be up here. But they recommend that you spend an amount of money, you know, like just to kind of support the business. So it's pretty cool because you get to go to wineries and have some local wine, or you get to go to farms and have local produce. Here, they have a little store, which I think we should go and check out out but they are they're also professional photographers so they can give you a very good deal for like a five minute photo shoot it was supposed to be such a like gloomy cold day because yesterday we had a pretty bad storm here in in Tennessee I was kind of like oh no I don't know if will be a good day to go and stay in a farm I wake up with terrible allergies but it ended up being such an amazing day and because the sun is beaming so much and it's getting warmer the only way that we're gonna be able to keep up all the heat is putting the window covers or opening some doors which I'm gonna do because I'm starving and I'm gonna make some lunch 
Let's make some lunch. I told you. We just talked with Jeff. He's gonna move us over to a much prettier side of the farm. I love when things work out like this. You guys, for this to be our first experience with Harvest Host, this place is unbelievable. Like, the owners are so nice. They have gave us a tour all over. And just if you come to the Nashville area, you must stop because the property, the land they have here and they share with everybody is just absolutely breathtaking. This right here is the perfect place to set up the new freestyle screen, which bring me to today's sponsor, Samsung. So Marose told you all earlier that this video is sponsored by Samsung, and we're so excited to share this latest Samsung product with you all. Truly, this is something that we have been looking forward to since we have hit the road, and we haven't found something as amazing as the Samsung Freestyle. So we're always being picked on by you all, by uh, everyone saying, oh my gosh, you have a TV on the wall. What can you do to watch movies in bed? Well, Samsung heard you all somehow through our comments <laughs> and they came up with a solution that I think is truly perfect for us. It's perfect for nomads and RV campers and, and literally just anyone who loves being outdoors but also loves really accessible and handy entertainment. First of all, it's super tiny really good size so you can take it anywhere we are going to be enjoying it outside tonight which i'm super excited because the day is perfect for it but as well it's almost like a smart screen yeah it really is it's a portable smart screen so you can connect all of your accounts we've got our youtube and netflix and hulu and literally all the cool streaming apps we have them already connected you know that we carry a portable hotspot with us so we're already streaming on our smart tv anyway so this just makes sense that now we can bring a tv outside with us and finally get to utilize this massive screen that we have on the outside of the van. The other cool thing about it is compatible with so many different chargers. Many of us already have portable like USB-C and USB mm -hmm. chargers with us on the road. We have our portable power stations, so you can plug directly into that. A lot of the USB batteries that you're already charging your phones with or your camera batteries, well, those work with this as well. If you're on the road or you're not on the road, this is a must have. For me, I was always afraid of any type of projection because of keystoning and getting it level. Samsung has remedied that with an auto key stone level and tilt correction built directly into the freestyle so you sit it you turn it on you forget it it's gonna be level crisp clear and it automatically focuses to whatever it is that you're looking at the screen that it's able to display is up to 100 inches which is absolutely mind-blowing and the clarity and the quality of the display that you're getting out it's of this incredible yeah, it, it doesn't have to be super dark. Uh, as soon as we got it, of course me, I'm a kid in a candy store. <laughs> I, I get it set up and I'm projecting like midday inside the van on the wall near our sink. And With I'm like, lights on and yeah. he's still watching TV, so yeah. it's super cool. We've got a link in the description for you all to check out. I highly recommend it, uh, specifically for anyone who's looking for a highly portable entertainment solution. Samsung's mm -hmm. Freestyle is the perfect perfect solution for you. Now it's gonna get dark, so we better get ready for movie night. I'm just trying to figure out who's gonna make the popcorn.
Wow. It's just such a good movie. Wow. You guys. I'm chalking that up to the most epic movie night that we've ever had. Yes. On the road at all. It's pretty cool because the first time we watched this movie, we were in Joshua Tree with some friends and we watched it on the side of a van as well. Yeah. And to like rewatch it again. Just brings it all full circle. Yes. And it feels as cold as that night. Yeah, probably. It, was, it was a bit chill. We did have a fire going. Yes, that yeah. was nice. <laughs> the movie ended just in time. I'm getting a little hungry. I can hear the dogs in there. They're ready for us. So I think we're gonna pack everything up mm -hmm. and head in and maybe start the heater. Because it's going to be a chilly night after like an almost 75 degree day. Yeah, let's get everything packed up. Let's go. So Marose is making some chickpea salad. We're gonna have some coleslaw up on top of that. And then we're gonna wrap that all up in a taco shell. What would you call that? Chickpea coleslaw Taco. tacos and corn tortillas. I'm tired. Yeah, we're both really tired. It's been a long day. It's been a long week. It's been a long month. It's been a long life. I mean, I'm eating because I'm pregnant, but if not, I was going to go to bed. I'm ready for bed. Are you excited for bed, Smiko? I don't think you're excited for bed. <sighs> it was a very long day. After a very long day, I'm ready for a long sleep. It's super quiet here, so I'm excited to just lay down. So, with that being said, good night. Good morning, family. Good morning, baby. It's cold. Yeah, it's chilly out today. Let's go check everything out. Pablo hates tall grass and he just like randomly stops and stares at you like, you know he's my worst nightmare, right? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! So this 40 acre parcel of land is divided by a fork off the Harpeth River. So you have the West Harpeth that runs on the property. This is literally like a photography paradise. It's so amazing that you can just park your van here in the property and just walk around and truly feel like you're just exploring a whole new place. Yeah, I think I just realized how large 40 acres is. I'm winded. I know, I'm pretty winded. <laughs> Pablo did not want to come. No. no, but now we've got to go back. That's a whole other task. I know I said it yesterday, but I have to say it today again. This is truly such an amazing place. And I'm so happy that we gave Harvest Host another opportunity because now I'm like, oh my God, we have so many more around that we can go and check out. <laughs> There's literally something for everybody. Wow! Sorry, <laughs> wow! Talk about a spot that exceeded any expectations yes. that, that I could have set for it. 
Yeah, this new spot where we moved had a great night's sleep. Mm -hmm. It was super quiet, dark out, tons of space to walk the dogs. Which we love. And also, just the owners of the property are so, so nice. Yes. We got the opportunity to talk to both of them and just like get to know them a little better, which reminds me so much of like how life on the road is. Yeah. Jeff showed us around his shop with some of his old racing memorabilia. He told us stories about his dad and you just don't get that. We didn't get that in the first spot that we went in this mm. series and you don't get that in many of the spots yeah so this was this was definitely unique it was very special we had a blast we're going to make sure to link down below the spot where we stayed so with the coordinates and all the information of how you can visit this spot as well but before we leave we also want to thank samson again for sponsoring today's video and for giving us the opportunity to have such a cool set up now we're going to be able to share this with so many friends in so many trips and just like have great memories thanks to the freestyle screen but with all of that said it is time for us to go to our next location where do you think that will be i don't know i'm feeling some mountains we'll see what we can find we'll see you next sunday friends bye